Hey everyone, I'm sure you guys are wondering how my newest girl, Rosabelle, the bloody salmon, is settling into her new home. Uh, I haven't started handling her yet because she has recently started a shed cycle and she was very very deep in shed a few days ago. Her eyes were very very cloudy blue and I definitely did not want to start working with her as as we all know during the shed cycle is when a snake is most stressed out but I think just yesterday her eyes have cleared out a little bit I'm not sure if you can see it on camera I'm keeping my distance right now so that I don't stress her out too much their eyes have cleared and she should be sloughing the skin off any day now so usually here in Malaysia the weather is humid enough but I'm not sure if she's gonna have trouble shedding due to all the stress she's been through with shipping so I just thought that I'm gonna give her a little bit of a soak and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and I also thought that it would be a really good opportunity to show you how I handle an aggressive snake or how you should handle an aggressive snake and also I'll be giving you some tips on what might help so what I have here is a pair of gardening gloves so generally with uh, aggressive snakes if you're really nervous about handling them or you're really afraid of getting bitten a thick pair of gloves should help I got these from Ace Hardware the gardening section these are just regular um, they're the thickest gardening gloves I can find but I've also heard of people using leather thick leather welding gloves for the larger snakes or even um, for smaller snakes like colubrids, if you're really afraid of getting bitten, you can even get some thinner, heavy-duty cotton gloves also from the gardening section. So I'm going to show you how I pick up my snake. Um, I'm going to be using only one hand because obviously I'm holding the camera with the other hand. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. But um, I would suggest nobody do this because I think that when you're handling a snake, especially an aggressive one, you should be giving 100% attention into what you're doing and you should have both hands free as well to handle the snake like you saw from my previous video I tried to handle her with only one hand and a towel and she kept slipping out and that was a really really pathetic example of handling a snake so yes people um, handle your snakes with both hands and with full attention not like this so I'm gonna go right in I'm going behind her so that she doesn't get too startled okay I've got it picked up she's very tense I don't know if she's gonna strike at me but I can feel her muscles she's really really tense and I'm gonna put her here into a pail of water I use a deep pail because it's um, it makes it uh, harder for the snake to escape Okay, she's a little bit panicked, I think she's probably never been soaked before, but yeah, you can see her right there in the pail. It's also difficult, more difficult for the snake to get out of a deep pail, but you can also use an exoterra tank or any kind of a short, ta um, smaller tank like that one that she's housed in. And if you come from a colder country, you can also put a heat mat to keep the water warm. Yeah, very important point, you should be using warm water to soak your snake. You don't want to put your snake into cold water so it will make them very uncomfortable and ooh, look at that she's probably really pissed off with me right now yeah and what was I saying uh, oh yeah you don't want to be using cold water so they get very uncomfortable and some snakes if you're in a, in cold countries they might catch an RI as well from soaking in cold water for too long I'm gonna put the lid of her terrarium here on top of the bucket so she doesn't get out and I'm also gonna be keeping a close watch on her we're in my room so I'm just gonna go do some stuff on the computer and keep an eye on her at the same time and we'll be back in 20 minutes to pick her up okay so it's been about 20 20 minutes to half an hour and I think our Rosabelle is doing pretty good in there I put a heat lamp over there so that you can see her a little bit better and I like to add on a little bit about soaking your snake um, it's a good thing because in the drier countries not only does it help with 
the shedding process. It helps them to get enough moisture to slough the skin off in a whole piece. And it's also very helpful for snakes that are dehydrated. It will encourage them to drink when they're soaking. And it can also help snakes to defecate easily, especially if you've got a snake with a constipation problem. Yeah, so you can see she is a little bit tense. She's looking up at me like she wants a piece of me. So I think if I were to put my stick my hand in there, she's gonna nail me right away and that's not gonna be that's not gonna be very nice. So what I've got over here is this here is a field hook. It is a three foot herping hook and I'm gonna use it to kind of fish her out of the water. And also because I don't really have a chance to, to demonstrate this anyway, so since we've got the opportunity right here, why not? Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat lamp off so I don't want her bumping into it when I fish her out of the water. There we go. Let's see, she's looking pretty mad, does not like me very much. So I'm just gonna put the hook right under her body and just lift her up like that now this only works for smaller snakes I do not recommend hooking lifting a bigger snake or a heavy bodied snake with a hook due to the risk of organ damage see I would not do this with say Diablo or a snake that is heavier because the hook does not support their body very well I'm having a little bit of trouble with this because I only have one hand and I can't really catch her if anything happens if she falls or whatever okay so I'm just gonna lift her really quickly up onto some towels over here I'm gonna dry her off and keep her warm okay my paper towels over there and a hide box in case if she needs it she is agitated oh there we go there we go okay Ooh. relax relax good girl Okay, so now I'm going to put the camera away. I'm going to need two hands to dry her. And I'm going to get her back into her enclosure in a really short while. Okay, and I'm back now with a perfectly dried off Rosabel. Still very angry with me. And yeah, as I was saying earlier about the hook technique, I used the hook for very small snakes and colubrids or baby ball pythons or boas that are aggressive but I really would not use it for a larger snake because you might hurt the, hurt the body and the organs be, due to the distribution of the weight uh, I might use two hooks to support the weight of uh, to support the weight more evenly on a larger snake but I would never completely hook and lift up say a full grown blood python for fear of hurting them. Now, I'm gonna pick her up again with my gloves. She seems a little bit calmer now. Good girl. I'm gonna lift her and put her back into her enclosure. Again, I can't stress this enough. You do not handle an aggressive snake or any snake at all with only with just one hand. I would recommend you have both hands free and give 100% focus to what you're doing okay there we go good girl see that's not so bad so yep yeah, that's Rosabelle's update video she seems a little bit calmer now after spending a little bit of time in the towel hey girl you alright? I hope she sheds in one piece for me um, soon, tomorrow maybe, I don't know. Well, that's all I have for you today. And it's the Easter weekend, so I hope you guys have a great holiday. Have a good weekend. And those of you still waiting on eggs from the breeding season, best of luck. And this is Kim signing out. Good night. Take care.